People tackled DIY projects at home during the pandemic. Some even renovated and painted. But what do you do with the leftover paint? Jennifer Krause is here with some money saving ideas. I'm anxious to hear about this because you can't just toss it right in the garbage. No, that's a good point, but you want to save it, Amy, because you save money and you can use it again. If you store it properly, you can use it for touch ups or whole new projects around your house. I didn't want to throw it away because I spent all this money on sample cans. That's homeowner Marissa Scheinfeld talking about the leftover paint stockpiled in her basement. It's as a result of numerous years of living in two different houses and really wanting to get the right paint color. Marissa's instinct to hold on to her paint is correct and leftover latex paint can last for years according to Consumer Reports. Here in our lab we have paints that are over 10 years old and because we store them properly we can still use them whenever we need them. You want to keep water from evaporating from the paint and keep microorganisms from getting into the can. Creating an airtight seal is key. First, get all the paint out of the channel where the lid locks in. A wet cloth wrapped around a flathead screwdriver can get the job done. Just push it into the channel and drag it around the whole can several times. Then, gently hammer down the lid. If you only have a small amount of paint left, it's better to transfer the paint to a clean jar with a screw-on lid. Choose a container that's not much bigger than the amount of paint you have left to avoid extra exposure to the air. Consumer Reports says also remember to label your paints by project so you know what it is without having to open it. Also, store your paint out of direct sunlight anywhere from 50 to 80 degrees. Temperature extremes can ruin the paint, so avoid anywhere that it can freeze or get too hot. And when it's time to use that stored paint, try it out on a piece of cardboard just to be sure. It should go on easily, be uniform in color, smooth, and free of visible particles. Marissa plans to hold on to her paints for as long as possible. There are a lot of colors that I think are really fun and beautiful, and I have a young son, so I'd like for him to get a little older so that maybe we can do projects together. So how do you know whether the paint is good or not? Well, if you see any bulges around the can or the lid is popping off, not good signs. Also, if the paint doesn't mix well or there's a rubbery film, you probably want to get rid of it as well. But as Amy mentioned, a lot of places don't want you to just throw out old paint with your garbage. So check with your city or your trash service before you put it out with your trash by the curb. But Nikki D, I know you've got little kids. You want some of that paint because things always end up on the walls. 